What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> uh, today, uh, the repair is going to be a 2017 uh, Chevy Equinox, and we're doing the uh, thermostat. Um, so, basically, there's no leak. The customer's saying there's no leak. It's full of coolant. It's overheating. Uh, usually, it's very reasonable to assume that the thermostat is a problem. Uh, now, if it continues to overheat, <clears throat> um, then you're probably going to have to replace the radiator, um, which is probably what we're going to end up doing on this vehicle. Because when I took out <clears throat> the thermostat, um, I noticed that it had a bunch of stop leak. You'll see all this gold glitter that's in the coolant. Well, that's stop leak. What it does is it clogs up the radiator. Uh, the radiator is what cools the vehicle. So if your radiator is clogged up, <clears throat> um, it's not going to cool and your car is going to overheat. Um, also, by adding just straight water and no antifreeze, it'll cause the radiator to rust, which will reduce its efficiency. So eventually, you're going to have to replace the radiator if you put straight water in it because it will rust out. Once it gets rusted on the inside, it will fail to uh, produce the cooling effect. Another thing, uh, possibly, I very rare, is the water pump. When the fins break off, usually you'll see parts of the fins, you know, going through the coolant system you know when you open up radio cap you'll see it you know debris floating around in there the fins will be broke up and sometimes they just deteriorate depends on if they're you know made of plastic or whatever um but anyways so i just want to show you guys some so this is a 2017 chevy equal uh <clears throat> 2.4 liter this is a four cylinder and we're on all data pro uh, this is what I use most shops. This is what I use at the dealership to do repairs, and we would base our labor on this. So you see the thermostat housing R and R, which is remove and replace, is 1.8 hours. Okay, we're gonna go to the service, the uh, repair procedure, and I'm showing you this to show you what all data. This is what the shop would charge you. This is what they're gonna recommend. This is the procedure how to do it officially by GM. I don't always go by this. Sometimes you can find a better way, a shortcut. And I found a shortcut, and I'm going to share it, share it with you guys. Uh, so they're saying a remote uh, drain the radiator. Um, disconnect the electrical uh, harness from the uh, ECT sensor, uh, which is this guy right here. <clears throat> uh, remove the oxygen sensor connector from thermostat housing. Uh, reposition the radiator hose. Uh, at the thermostat housing so basically the the big hose that goes into the thermostat i call it the upper radiator radiator hose in the uh, video but it's basically coming from the uh the water bypass <clears throat> the surge tank which is the coolant reservoir so uh that big hose is actually coming from the coolant reservoir but you're trying to get to the end of that big hose and the thermostat will be right there it's right here on the vehicle where i'm pointing to right here um, they're talking about this. So they, I didn't have to do all of this. I just moved those lines out the way, like they said. And then, uh, this, uh, remove, remove the surge tank. I did not do that. I left the surge tank on, uh, remove the exhaust heat shields. Uh, I did not do that. Uh, remove the HVAC, uh, inlet hose from the thermostat housing, remove the exhaust shield. I did not do any of this. That's the, uh, heater hose in the back. Uh, this is the other heater hose. Remove the other heater hose from the back. So there's two lines going into I did not do any of that. Uh, remove the EC tensor, ECT. I did not do that. Remove thermostat housing. I did not do that. So this is it. The thermostat is right here where I'm pointing to, right? And they're having you move these two lines. These are the heater hose lines, right? Then there's three bolts holding it in. Then you got to take off the front. You do have to remove this front line that goes right here to the thermostat. That's the surge tank. I call it the operator hose. That's the line for the ECT. Um, I did not remove that. I left that line on. And I did not take these. I didn't even take this off. So uh, then they're saying take it off. And then once you take it off, then all you got is these two bolts right here. There's two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts right here in the front. All I did was take off the hose that goes right here. Took these two bolts off right here. These two 10s. Popped it out and then pulled the thermostat out with a screwdriver. Now... <clears throat> All data recommends this is the service procedure, and they say it's 1.8 hours. So, you know, uh, 
when they make up these service procedures, I mean, that's good for the mechanic when it has more hours, labor hours, because, you know, it, it's justification for us to charge more money. Um, and if you can find a shortcut, that's great. That's, you know, I, some, you know, they call them a gravy jobs. Now, not all, now sometimes, uh, see, I found a quicker way to do it, which I normally do. Um, <clears throat> most of my videos are cheats. I, I, I always find a better way to do it, a faster way to do it, an easier way to do it. And so I share that with you. Uh, and so if you like, you know what I'm saying, if you want to keep getting it, uh, if you appreciate the videos, then please like and subscribe to the videos. I've been doing mechanic work for over 15 years. I worked at the dealership for like six years and plenty of other mom and pop shops and stuff. I've been running my business for a long time. Uh, so I've had a lot of experience. I've, I've worked on just about everything. Uh, I work on luxury vehicles, Porsches, BMWs, Mercedes, all that stuff. Um, so I'm just happy that I can share, you know, some of this stuff. And uh, it, it's, I saw a lot of people, I saw some other people that made the same video, same repair, and they, t they did all that stuff. And so a lot of these people on YouTube, you know, they're doing all this extra stuff, uh, unnecessary stuff. Um, and it's just, uh, it, it's, it's not, <laughs> you're doing more work than you have to do. You know saying? You're working too hard. In my opinion, that's what I keep saying. And at the end of this video, I just kind of stopped and like, just, I was just dumbfounded that, uh, you know, I did it like it took less than 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? And it says it takes, you know, I, I had anxiety looking at the service procedure because I hate working on the back of the motor. Whenever you got a part that's in the back of the motor, you can't see the bolts. And so sometimes you have to use a mirror or just feel for it. And it's just a pain in the ass because you got to like bend over the, you know, the front hood of the car and, you know, reach down in the back. And sometimes you got to get a step stool and step on it and get up and just sit on, hang on top of the motor. And uh, I hate it. <laughs> but so I had like anxiety about do, doing this repair. And then, you know, for me to, you know, find a quick way, I was just, uh, I was just ecstatic, man. I was just really happy, and I was like, man, I got, I got to show somebody this shit. I got to show somebody because I, I, I watched the videos, other people doing the same repair, and uh, man, they just doing the most, all this unnecessary stuff, man, all this extra shit, and is uh, <clears throat> there's no right or wrong way to do a, a repair, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> my way, the best way, <laughs> watch. <laughs> Seventeen equal nine with a two point four liter motor. Okay, this is twenty seventeen, right? We're doing the thermostat right here, right? Okay, so I looked up on all data. It said you got to take off this, that, the heater hose. I think, uh, man, it was a bunch of stuff. And then you got to take off the whole housing for the thermostat. But you don't have to do that. I'm going to show y'all a shortcut. So take off this right here. All you got to do is push it that way. It'll slide off. To get your intake off, which is this and this. Uh, eight millimeter right there. Eight millimeter right there. Which goes here. I'm just coming from the side, get it with an extension and an eight millimeter. Then loosen it right here. Pull that out gently. Okay. All of this will come off. Also, you got to take this off. I just put it back on just to keep it where it's supposed to be now you don't really have to take this off but it gives you a lot more room like elbow room and the thermostat is right here <clears throat> so I'm looking at it right now let me adjust the light <clears throat> That's it right there. That's it. Got two 10 millimeter bolts. Holding it in. And what I did, so 
I went ahead and took off that, that hose right there. The upper ring of the hose. Then, you got a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And one up on the top. All I did, I had to make a video about this because all that I said, you got to take off all of this stuff, man, and, it, and you don't. All you got to do is loosen up. Take off this 10 millimeter right here. <clears throat> That's for that line right there. You don't have to loosen this stuff up. I did, but you can come in right here with a long extension, right? Boom. I got that 10 right there, like that. Coming right here, look at, you can see it easy. It's right there. Boom, I take that 10 off right there. But before I did that, I took the hose, um, the upper radiator hose off. So that's it right there. Squeeze that clamp right there. Pull it back and then you can get those bolts. <clears throat> and then all you gotta do. <sighs> where my 10 millimeter I swear if I lose another 10 millimeter socket, man. I lose them. Oh there it go. <clears throat> Then you can pull it off right now. You don't even have to take off the other hose. Just leave it on there. I'm not sure where this video ended, but uh, I think we got to the point where we got to the thermostat. Um, so anyways, all data is saying that you got to take off that thermostat housing, take off all of this stuff, and you don't have to do it. That hose right there, the up squeeze that clamp together to upper radiator hose that goes to your thermostat housing okay and then once you do that all you gotta do is take off the two 10 millimeter bolts uh, which is right here and here uh, right there and then you got one on the other side and I just got it with a long extension real easy then just reach down in there, it's right there. See? <clears throat> I probably need a screwdriver or something to get it out. <clears throat> but, uh, man, I was looking at uh, the service procedure on all data, and uh, I was damn having anxiety looking at this damn procedure like you gotta do all this stuff just to get the damn thermostat like come on uh, there you go all that are talking about 1.8 hours bro 30 minutes less than that You gotta subscribe to the channel, man. Get the pro tips. I seen uh, some other videos, people doing the same repair. Man, they did a whole bunch of extra stuff. Unnecessary. You got this real shortcut, man. You don't even have to take off all that stuff. Man, anyways. Put your gasket back on, put this baby back in, put them two tins on, and this is real quick and simple, man. Um, I, I washed, uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> I watched these other videos, man, I'm trying to see if anybody made a video how to do this. And, uh, man, these, uh, these other guys, man, they made these videos taking off all this stuff, man. Took off the whole, all the hoses, thermostat, 
housing from the block <laughs> and then pulled it all out and then uh, separated it on a table what I just did with those two tins you don't have to do all that man all you gotta do is just do what I showed you man be in and out so I needed two hands for most of this stuff there's a bracket that hooks this main wire harness right into that hole that's a 13 millimeter hole right there and uh, I just took that bracket out and uh, that's pretty much it you can see see that bolt right there that bolt right there that's the thermostat and then the other one is right <clears throat> So you gotta take the, the that clamp and the radiator hose off and then you can get to that bolt. <clears throat> but you don't even have to take the other clamp off for the uh, cooling sensor or whatever that is. Um, it might be a heater hose bypass. That's it. O tip man, that's quick and easy way to do it man all that I'm talking about take off all of this stuff man I'm talking about 1.8 hours or something something ridiculous man I had anxiety looking at the damn service procedure I was like man I don't even know if I want to do this looks intimidating and then you come out here to the car and I was like bro <sighs> shortcut <laughs> cheat code activated <laughs> yo <laughs> easy but uh if you want the pro tips man please like and subscribe to the videos and keep getting the pro tips um that's pretty much it man you just put that back and if you unplugged anything plug it back in just put your intake well first you need to put this cover on then your intake and that's it man Bleed it out. So on this one, crank it up. Top this off right here. Let it warm up. And then uh, after it warms up, <coughs> top it off again. Now, <coughs> you could at this point, I was about to say you could crank it up right now without the cover just to see if it's leaking or not but uh I got faith in the repair faith in the mechanic uh. so I know she good okay put that on put that on Clamps down. And that's it. I don't know. Bleed it out. But, uh, man, that was, uh, so much. I was expecting to be out here for hours. <laughs> that was, uh, Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna have a great day.